Okay, Alec Baldwin was confronted at a coffee shop by one of these types of people, one of these pro-Hamas protesters. And uh, this is actually, and I'll explain why in a moment, but this is an amazing video. It's actually shocking, but let's watch it first. Alec, can you please stay free Palestine one time? Why did you kill that lady? You killed that lady and got no jail time? No jail time, Alec? No jail time, Alec. You're putting innocent people in jail, Alec Baldwin. I'm so sorry. Free Palestine, Alec, just one time, and I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone, I swear. Just say free Palestine one time. One time. One time. Call the police. One time, Alec. You know know he's a criminal. You know he's a criminal. Come on, Alec, just say free Palestine one time. One time, just one time, please, and I'll leave you alone. Free Palestine. Israel, Zionism. Please say it. One time. Um, so it's amazing. And I'll tell you what's amazing about it is, is it, it's an incredible achievement because do you realize what kind of obnoxious, dumb, blathering, idiot, scumbag you have to be to make Alec Baldwin seem sympathetic? To, to create a, a video where I watch it and I feel sorry for Alec Baldwin? I, that's an emotion. I don't know what to do with that emotion. I don't know how to handle it. I've, I've never, it's a strange emotion I've never felt before. I've never felt sympathy for Alec Baldwin. I've never watched an Alec, because when I watch an Alec Baldwin video, uh, the, the, the emotion I'm accustomed to experiencing is irritation, revulsion, uh, indifference, you know, all these different, that, that, that's kind of the spectrum. That's, that's where I'm, I'm living when it comes to Alec Baldwin related content. But sympathy? I don't, what? I don't know what to do with that. I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think it was possible to, for anyone to do or say anything that would make me side with Alec Baldwin. Um, but, but here we are. Here we are. Because here's the thing. In any interaction with Alec Baldwin, you, if you're having an interaction with, with Alec Baldwin, you automatically get the benefit of the doubt because you are not Alec Baldwin, and he is. In order to squander that advantage, so you're going, you're way ahead before the interaction even begins. And to squander that and to make the public side with Baldwin, you have to, I mean, you got to go out of your way to be as unpleasant as humanly possible. And that's what this person accomplished quickly too, by the way. This was not like 10 minutes and and it kind of wears you down. That's less than a minute. That's like 50 seconds. And she was able to make us all sympathize with Alec Baldwin. Um, and of course, Alec Baldwin was completely uh, justified in his response. Uh, I, I, which you know, if, you, if you're if you're listening to the audio podcast at the end, he uh, appears to smack the phone um, out of her hand, or he whatever. I don't know if he smacks or not, but he's he forcibly uh, makes her stop filming. I think it's great. I wish that more people would react that way when they have cameras shoved in their face, whether it's Alec Baldwin or not, it doesn't matter. The idea that you have the right, putting aside for a second everything that she said to him. The idea that you have the right to just walk around and film anyone you want, whether they consent to it or not, I mean, that's something we, we just have to get this under control. It's, 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 it's gotten way out of hand. I think we all understand that. Um, now, of course, when you're a public figure, you have to deal with, with more of this kind of thing. It, it, it comes with the territory more. But even a public figure can't be expected to tolerate being harassed and accosted in public. Like he's just trying to get a coffee. And... It, that, so you have to you have to put up with that. Any a hole that walks in the door and wants to harass you and put you on camera, you, you just have to deal with it. Uh, no. And worse than that is uh, is that you know people do this all the time to strangers who are not public figures. Every day on Twitter, you see a, a post from somebody who filmed or photographed some other random person to shame them. In fact, we'll play another example of that in just a second, the next headline. But every day, it's another, it's another video like this. Someone, someone's being filmed or photographed uh, uh, you know, b- because they did something supposedly rude, or, uh, or they, at least they did something that the person who's filming or taking the picture didn't like. And now their image, the video, is all over social media. It's been viewed millions of times. 
Uh, everybody is a public figure now all the time. It's essentially how it's worked out. And it's completely out of control. 20 bucks barely gets you anything these days, but do you know what 20 bucks will get you from the cell phone company I use, Pure Talk? You can get unlimited talk, text, and plenty of 5G data for just 20 bucks a month. Pure Talk gives you the same quality of service as your current cell phone provider, but for half the cost, the average family saves almost $1,000 a year, all with no contracts and no activation fees. You can switch to Pure Talk and keep the phone and phone number you currently use, or you can take advantage of their great deals on the latest iPhones and Androids. Making the switch is incredibly easy. Their U.S. customer service team can help you join Pure Talk in as little as 10 minutes. Choose to spend your hard-earned money with a wireless company that shares your values, supports our military and veterans, creates American jobs, and refuses to advertise on fake news networks. Stop spending ridiculous amounts on your phone plan. Go to puretalk.com slash Walsh. Right now, my listeners can get an additional 50% off their first month. That's puretalk.com slash Walsh. And then on top of that, there's this demand that Baldwin repeat a phrase. She wanted him to say, free Palestine, I think it was. Um, even if he doesn't believe it, just, just say it. And if you're a normal person, you watch that and you think, like, what? What value is there in making him say it? Let's say you succeed and he says the phrase. Well, he's, you're, he's only saying it because you have hectored him and harassed him into saying it. He's only saying it to make you shut up. He's not saying it because he believes it. You haven't changed his mind about anything. You're just making him repeat a phrase that you have assigned to him. What do you get out of that? What, what does that accomplish? What's the point? Well, you think that as a normal person, but this is what the left does. This is what leftist activists in particular do. Um, this is one of their this is one of their primary uh, weapons that they use in their arsenal. Uh, they demand that you say the words that they assign to you, whether you mean it or not. They take this approach, as you've probably noticed, on every issue, in every situation. You know, it's no different than the, the pronoun stuff. They want you to say the pronoun. Doesn't matter if you believe it. Doesn't matter even if you're just saying it because you're afraid, like they just want you to say it. And in fact, it goes a step further than that because um, I think in many cases, they prefer if you don't believe it. Okay, they, they, this is, not, uh, this is a, a, a feature, not a bug for them. They prefer that you don't believe it. Because that's the power play. This is all about uh, power. It's all a power game. And yeah, if they can, like, if they can actually persuade you and convince you, and then you start saying the same stuff that they say because you've been convinced. Well, that's great because they've got uh, now they have a, a comrade on their side. But there's no power in that, really. Like persuasion is not about power in that sense. It's not about forcing yourself on someone. Um, now, persuasion might require, require powerful rhetoric in the sense of being compelling, right? But it's not force. It's not power in that kind of uh, forceful sense. And they would prefer. They would prefer. They get, they get more of a kick out of imposing themselves. So, yeah, they, they love it if you don't believe it. They, they want you to not believe it, but say it anyway. They're happy if you're not convinced as long as you do what they say. That's the game. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Wall Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.